Yeah, look, I, I suppose we ride our luck um, quite a few times tonight. Um, but the boys, you know, they kept fighting. Um, and because, you know, Brisbane are a very difficult side to play against because they get so many numbers behind the ball and they defend their box so well. Um, and then, you know, they break very quickly. So, um, yeah, um, you know, it wasn't one of our better performances, but, um, you know, we did enough, I suppose, to get the three points. So that's the, the main thing, you know, coming to the second part of the season. It's just about um, making sure you, you get your points at home. And we, that's what we did tonight. Down early, I think in the first half, they didn't uh, didn't press for the goal kicks. I was seeing right back, and it almost felt like uh, your boys would have preferred if they were pressing. It's almost the times they were trying to find a way through and weren't having much luck. Yeah, it was difficult, and you know, at times, and you know, that's where we sort of let ourselves down a little bit. Um, we just weren't patient enough to keep the ball and. and create the openings. We, at times we just f tried to force things or, you know, played some, you know, long hopeless balls that just um, sort of fell into their hands. That's what they wanted. Um, so we just needed to be patient and just keep moving the ball and, and you know, and create our moments and, and take the moments when they appeared. But we just didn't have the patience at times um, to do that. Um, obviously, a lot's been set up under during the week. Um, and I think you said during the week that after the first you know, 24, 48 hours, is about being professional and getting on with it. Even though you said it wasn't perhaps the best performance, you think you, you felt enough tonight, you saw enough to, to feel that everyone's um, you know still have it in, have, has it in mind, but um, enough to, to have gone on with it. Yeah, look, it's always going to um, you know for the rest of the season, it's going to be there. Uh, you know, with the players, because you know, um, you know, one day is such a integral part of the of the playing group. Um, just not with his performances off the park; it's what he brings, you know, off the park to the playing group. So it's that's always going to be something that we're going to miss now. Um, uh, but uh, you know, the boys will um, do everything they possibly can to, you know, try and. Um, Keep winning, and and so he can get some in, enjoyment and watching us win. And the uh, this is like golf for Brisbane in the corner. I mean, how did you see that? <laughs> Look, it's um, um, yeah. I suppose you could say we, we got a, a little bit lucky tonight with that. Um, it's um, but that, you know, I suppose it evens out over the course of a season, doesn't it? Those sort of decisions. Um, there was contact, and this is where. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, disagreements with a lot of these decisions about contact in the box. You know, we're playing a, a contact sport, um, you know, and small amounts of contact doesn't mean it's a free kick. Um, you can see it in so many games, um, but that's that's the way the game has, has gone now. And um, some goal by Nesta to win the game? Yeah, look, Nesta is, you know, this is the, the talent that he has. Um, and it's just a matter of um, you know keep working with him to um, so he understands what it you know what it takes to be able to get into those positions to to do those bits of magic that he does. But um, you know he needs to and he knows um, and we're working with him that he has you know other parts of his game that he needs to focus on as well. Were you impressed that he lost the ball and then he actually pressed one back and then he did that as well? Yeah, um, Nesta is um, the power and the speed that he has. That you know, um, you can't um, you can't stop that. Um, and it's just a matter of um, getting him to understand that he needs to be um, switched on and working hard um, for every minute that he's on the pitch. Swapping um, Benny and Goody at half time. Was that just to mix things up, or was there something specific that, that you saw that you felt that changed more about your time? Yeah, look, it, it's, it was more of a tactical switch because we wanted to, um, because they have so many numbers defending, we didn't want to um, play wide anymore, we wanted to play through the middle. Um, yes, that sounds a bit crazy because that's where all the numbers were, but um, we, we believed if we could play quickly through the middle and with them being on the opposite sides, it made it easier for them to come in and play. Um, and at times, you know, we just had to be a bit more patient to play those balls into those tight areas. And we needed to be better in, in those tight areas. Um, but, you know, we did have um, little bits of success in those areas in the second half. 
Is that is that one of the issues you think long term your team might need to improve on? Just penetrating in central areas instead of maybe always looking to, to kind of play wide and, and rely on those kind of one v ones. Yeah, look, it's you know that's that's football. It's about finding where the space is and where you can hurt teams. Um, and tonight we weren't going to hurt them in wide areas. Um, you know, because they, you know, time you put the ball in the box, they had four or five defenders in there, and it was, you know, very difficult. Um, so it was about um, trying to um, get quick combinations and get people in and around and get some um, some good shooting and get into some good shooting areas in and around the central area of the box. That is us, guys. Thank you very much.